Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I'm in Scotland. Today I'm at Glen Murray Distillery. Today I have a bottling from the Malt Men, single malt Scotch whiskey, vintage cask, Bayside Reason distilled November 2007, bottled April 2018. Wood type was a Muscatel finish, very interesting. Cask number 702, bottles um, 678. With 57.7% ABV. Now, I do have the um, unique opportunity at the moment to have a lot of single cask um, bottlings, and therefore they're rare and exotic. Now, Moscatel itself is a little bit rare and exotic. If I go over here to Wikipedia, Wikipedia, wow, whiskey and Wikipedia, very good. Moscatel is a type of wine made from Muscat grapes. All right. Now, the term is now normally used in the United States to refer to a fortified wine made from these grapes rather than just any wine made from these grapes. Over here in Germany, I can buy a normal wine that is a Moscatel wine, and then there's a fortified one as well. Now, the interesting thing it says here is this single cask of a Glen Mori has been finished for six months in a beautiful Moscatel sherry butt. Now, we have Pedro Jimenez, which is a type of grape, and we have Moscat or a Moscatel, which are also grapes that are used to make sherry. Mmm, very, very good. And so, um, that is a very interesting thing. So, um, whiskey base number, I can't read and do this at the same time, 113929. And what we have is here something from Meadowside Blending. Meadowside Blending has over have, has had over 300 and almost 50 bottlings so far, usually single cask or small batch, and they have been in operation since 1985. The name on the bottle is still the name of the real founder and owner. That is Daniel uh, Daniel Hart, and now Andrew Hart, his son, has taken over, and he does a lot more of the day-to-day business. Now, this whiskey is like a normal whiskey, but on honey steroids. So I'm going to pull out here a normal cast strength Glen Mori. This is a German bottler, his um, Anam Naha Albal, and it's a soul of Scotland. And this was actually, um, I did a, a cask share. So I bought a share, one of 35, 40 of them, and I got six bottles of this. So this is actually from cast number 26. This was distilled, I know exactly, on January 1st, 2008. It was bottled on the 22nd of March, 2019. And so it is also um, barely a 11-year-old whiskey. This is 10-year-old whiskey. This has absolutely no finish whatsoever. And you can immediately see the difference just in the colors here. This was a bourbon hogshead. It's probably going to be a refill hogshead. This was actually in something else which we don't know about at the moment. And that's something I would love to change about Scotland. I would love for people to actually tell us um, what was the history of this whiskey. At the moment, we just put the last cask on the barrel, on on the bottle. So the last barrel that this saw was a single cask of Moscatel. And therefore, we can actually have here... um, 678 bottles. Now, before that, you probably took two bourbon hogsheads or two or maybe even three bourbon barrels and put them together into one muscatel cask, which is going to be at least, I want to do my math real quick, which I forgot to do in my German video. So 678 times 0.7, that is 474 liters of whiskey. So this is about a 500 liter butt. That's a lot. So a normal um, American standard b- barrel is 200. And so you need two and a half with angel share, those three normal um, sherry, I'm sorry, n- normal American ex-bourbon casks to fill up one sherry butt. And then you put that in there. So this is a single cask, even though it was probably made from three casks before. But since the last um, cask only counts, ta-da, single cask, which is not... <clears throat> really fair. Now, what we do know is that um, it says here, everything in this bottle was distilled in November 2007. Very, very good. Now, what we could have had is um, we could have said it's a 10-year-old whiskey. 10-year-old whiskey means the youngest whiskey in this is 10 years old. So they could have had an 18-year-old single barrel. I 
20-year-old single barrel and a 10-year-old single barrel. Put all three of those in the Muscatel, let it finish for six months, and ta-da, you have a 10-year-old whiskey because the youngest barrel counts. They didn't do that. They actually took three of the, I guess it was three, three of the own barrels, um, all from November of 2007. So, on the nose, smile. Um, imagine a, yes, <laughs> imagine honey. Imagine ice frosting. Um, imagine um, cake frosting or uh, ice. Um, Imagine a nice peach. Imagine a, a white cranberry. Imagine vanilla put all over top of that. And imagine a tiny little bit here of, what was the last thing I didn't, I forgot about here? This is nice. Apricots. Yeah. Multi apricots, honey sweetness, and vanilla icing. Beautiful. Over here, in comparison to this, this has a little bit of a um, lactic acid moment, but yet it's very intense as well. Um, this is for me the example of English tea. Now, I drink, I love English tea for breakfast. So I put my milk, um, I put my. My sugar, I put sugar in mine in my tea bag, I pour my water over it, I let it seep for a minute or so, take the tea bag out, put the milk in there, boom, got it. So I got milk and sugar in my um, English breakfast tea every morning, no, almost every morning. Now that's what this is. This has an extra lump of sugar in it. This has absolutely no sugar whatsoever, and it's actually very nice. This is a little bit nicer, but this is nice, all right? So both of these bottles you'll probably never find on a Normal site, maybe an auction site, you might see them. But the sweetness here, the Moscatel, is fabulous. Cheers. 47.7%, by the way. Sorry, 57.7%. Mmm. Mmm. This is an excellent whiskey. There's a tiny little fault towards the back, in the back of my throat. There's a little bit of a woody dryness. It's there. It's nothing I can actually um, deny. But there's such a sweetness in the forward of, and the front of my mouth. This is, this is really great. Mmm. Um, you can put a couple drops of water in it. The, the alcohol kicks in a little bit more. You can dilute it down to, like I did, a, about 37%, 25%, and the sweetness just remains. Actually, the best drinking moment is the 57.7%. This is a fantastic whiskey, and it's 60 euros. 60 euros, single cask, Moscatel finish. Wow. Cask strength. Excellent, excellent things. Um, Middle side blending, I'm going to have to look a little bit more at your bottlings. I think you have some very nice things out there um, priced at an appropriate range. I'm just going to compare it to the other Glenmore. Graham Cool used to be the um, distillery manager. I think he was there like 14, 15 years. Dingle um, <laughs> bottom out. He's now in Ireland. And I think Kirsty now came here to um, Glen Mori and she's doing her magic. I just bought the um, Madeira cask project from Glen Mori. And the hand fills from Glen Mori's are a dream. I was there two years ago and it was one of the best tours I had there. Mmm. Mmm. A great summer whiskey. A great dessert whiskey. Um, for some of you, it might be too sweet, but for me, it's actually I have a sweet tooth. This is actually very, very nice. I like this. Um, this is a good, good bottle. This is a very, very good bottle. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised at the Maltman. I'm pleasantly surprised with the Glenmore, and I'm very pleasantly surprised about the Moscatel um, cask finishing here for a total of six months. Question of the day. What other whiskeys out there do you know that have a Moscatel finish? 
I'm sure there's a few. Um, there's not that many, but a few out there. Please write them down in the comments. I'm going to give this um, almost a B, more of a B minus. A value for money, 60 euros over here. I'm going to give this actually a C to C plus. Um, great price for what you're getting. Um, great whiskey, very nice, very sweet, very, very, very um, a thick whiskey as well. So, um, please like, please subscribe, please tell others, and if you'd be so kind, maybe share this video on social media someplace. That'd be great to increase my reach. All the best. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare single cask and single cask and exotic whiskeys. All the best. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.